<sighs> Good morning and happy Tuesday, everyone. So, uh, let's get to my little bit of act of kindness. Um, well, I would say when it comes to my low, my grandmother is still on the mend. Hopefully, I'll, uh, she's going to be taking the doctor today to, you know, really see if there's anything, you know, wrong with her. So, that, that'll be nice. Um, my high is, you know, I got to spend, uh, some time with, uh, my mom and dad yesterday. You know, we actually, uh, went to Sam's Club. A little sort of family shopping activity. Uh, had a little bit of dinner with them. It was, that was good. So, we just had leftovers for free dinner. Because, actually, there's still plenty of leftovers. I know for a fact there's still plenty of chili at my folks' place. And, um, let's see. My act of kindness, I would say, was... Well, I did do some, uh, well, I did do a few, uh, errands for, um, for, uh, uh, my, uh, grandmother yesterday. I mean, she's still on the men, but that doesn't mean I can't do a few things for her if she asks me to. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a good grandson like that. So, yeah. I can't believe, like, by the way, in case anyone's wondering why I'm still wearing the green tie, bro, like, the Shamrock milkshake is still going on at McDonald's. And it's been a thing since, like, early February. Like, me wearing this for the entirety of the month of March, I really wouldn't say that's, I really wouldn't say that's sketchy. So, don't worry. I'll take off this tie after March 31st. We still have, you know, about a week and a half left, give or take. So we, um, so we got time. So, uh, today's Tuesday, which means we have a new Hot Ones guest today. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so let's get to who this week's guest is, shall we? And the, I believe, 10th. First we feast hot ones guest is Okay, the screen disappeared below me. I'm going to look in three, two, one. No shit. No shit. This is quite Unexpected. So, um, huh. Oh, I know who this is. In fact, just about anyone on the internet knows who this is. I mean, What can I say about this person that the internet hasn't already said? I mean, honestly, my first introduction to this person was from the movie Shallow Hell. That's right, folks. It's Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, I really didn't notice her until, like, the Iron Man movies. But, um, yeah, she's a Pepper Potts. So, you know what? An MCU alum. She is an MC, another MCU alum is gonna be on that one. Okay. Um, funny. She wouldn't, I mean, let's be honest, just about anyone can be, just about anyone can be on hot ones nowadays, so it really was only a matter of time that Gwyneth Paltrow, um, was, gonna be on Hot Ones, and, you know, she is a very successful, you know, celebrity, you know, actress, 
Um, you know what? Here's the thing. I know that she has like a line of like, like a, a like a product. I can't remember the name at the moment. Ah, uh, fine. I'll look it up. Okay, what's it called? Um, it's something like really simple and. Here we go. Okay. Uh, address. Businesswoman. I know she got. I think she got the Academy Award for Shakespeare in Love, right? Yeah, she did. Um, right. Um, she launched a weekly lifestyle newsletter called Goop. That, that's what, that's what I, um, yeah, it's one of those, um, sort of, like, health conscious sort of newsletters or whatever that a lot of people really seem to, you know, pay attention to and enjoy reading. I mean, I mean, the fact I kind of forgot the name, yet the name is so simple, should tell, should tell you all about its significance in my life. <laughs> um, actually, let me read about group one. Um, okay, so as of January of 2021, um, Uh, she became uh, an investor in something called 13 Loon, which is focused on makeup, skincare, hair care, and wellness products. Oh, my people of color and ally brand. Cool. And uh, in April of that year, Goop became the first ally brand. Interesting. Cool. So, yeah, okay. So, it focused. So, yeah, Goop focuses on. Um, Pseudoscientific topics in energy healing, the use of psychedelic drugs, cold therapy, anti-aging, mediumship, the hell is that? And uh, female sexuality. Okay, I got like a little mediumship is. I'm sorry, what is that? Oh. Oh, that's what it is. I had no idea that was even a term. Huh. You know, like, me, like, like, psychic mediums, all like, like, oh, release the spirits. Like, I had no idea that that's what it was called. Okay. I learned something today. Cool. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. The, uh, Group references to feminism, traditional Asian medicines, Eastern philosophies, and anti-establishment politics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Hmm. Goop. I'm sorry, but like, okay, I grew up, like, I was a fan of Ben 10 growing up, and one of his uh, aliens was Gooper. Goop. It was basically like a green slime that was like controlled by like this robot radio thing that was like controlling the slime as it was going. It was called Goop. Uh, that's how I, that's how I, that's how I can remember it. So, um, okay, I think I should stop talking about Goop now. Lord knows I'm not the only person who's ever made fun of it. Okay, so, 
What movies other than Iron Man and Shallow Hal has she been in? And Shakespeare in Love, I knew that. Bro, Ten Bombs. Sky Captain World of Tomorrow. Captain Mr. Ripley. She won the Academy Award for Shakespeare in Love. Which, you know, it's funny. I forget, like, I want to say it was Sunday. My brother and his wife talked about how they saw, um, uh, the tragedy of Julius Caesar in the hometown where William Shakespeare was from. I use that in air quotes because, uh, any expert on William Shakespeare, any expert on like li English literature or anything William Shakespeare related is going to tell you, not much is really known about William Shakespeare's history. Like, barely anything. Like, we know that the guy existed. We know that he wrote a lot of really great plays with many of his most memorable ones being tragedies of all things. I know this because I've read quite a few of his tragedies. Julius Caesar, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, Othello. Like, trust me, I've read my fair share of Shakespeare. I mean, yeah, Midsummer Night's Dream, that's a comedy. That I've read. But for the most part, like, Shakespeare is known for his tragedies. So, there you go. I say it's because Shakespeare in Love is clearly a work of very, very much historical fiction. But God went for the Oscar, so can't uh, can't fault it for that. I mean, from what I hear, Shakespeare in Love is that kind of movie where, yeah, it's good, and. For all intents and purposes, there are many good things in it, but it's the kind of movie that clearly got the awards that it got because of the time it came out. Like, actually, let me look up for a second. Um. Yeah, it won seven Oscars, seven Oscars with thir uh, 13 nominations. Won Best Picture, Best Actress in Paltrow, Dane Judy Jens won Best Supporting Actress, Best best Screenplay Written Directly for the Screen, Best Original Musical or Comedy Score, Best Art Direction, and Best Comedy. Yeah, costume design doesn't surprise me at all. Anything, you know, you know, Victorian England around Shakespeare's apparent time he lived is gonna be beautiful looking. Um, yeah. And, I mean, it won Best Picture, so to say it's a... A, um... You know, a cinematic masterpiece, you know, that's, that's definitely something. I mean, I, I think I was watching Walter Benaziak, he's one of the, of a Channel Awesome fame, who talked about like the worst roles that Ben Affleck did, and Shakespeare in Love is one of them, and I think he talked about how Shakespeare in Love isn't a bad movie, but it was the kind of movie that got the awards it got again because of the time it came out. So, okay. So, um, Gwyneth Paltrow. Cool. Um, this should be a very interesting episode because I mean, listen, she's an MCU alum. I'm sure that Sean's gonna ask her at least something Iron Man related. Um, obviously because of Goop, you know, there's gonna be at least a question about that probably. I mean, 
She is an Academy Award winning actress. I'm sure she probably had to do a lot to prepare for the role that she got the Oscar for, for Shakespeare in Love. I mean, that, that's definitely a lot to think about. Although, that's actually interesting. Goop is the kind of, like, product that promotes, you know, you know, wellness and stuff. Something about eating hot wings seems counterintuitive about that. I could be wrong. I mean, you know, spicy food is, a, so believe it or not, spicy food is actually supposed to be good for you. I know, shocking, right? But it is. So we'll see. We'll see if, um, we'll see how things go from here. But I think we're in for a good episode. I think we're going to be in for something really interesting. And, uh, I personally can't wait to see it. I hope you guys like this video. If you didn't like, subscribe to YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I am very humbled in this video. For all of you guys watching the today, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, Tuesday. I almost got to do the week. And remember, if you guys want to talk, channel is beautiful. Let me know you're back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.